Medical malpractice has become a very specialized area of the law. We now know that about 98,000 people a year die from medical mistakes. You may have heard on the news or read about some sort of medical malpractice crisis, but we now know that according to the federal government's general accounting office, that there is no medical malpractice crisis. Doctors are not leaving the practice of medicine. Hospitals are not shutting down. So we now know that medical malpractice cases are not driving up the cost of health care in any significant way. In Florida, there have been laws passed recently by the legislature that caps damages, which limits what you can recover as a result of a medical malpractice case. These laws were pushed through by big insurance companies because they wanted to limit what they would have to pay in the event of a medical mistake. Let me remind you that in an automobile accident, a slip and fall case, or any type of case, there are no caps on what an injured person can receive from the wrongdoer. It's only in medical malpractice type scenarios that your damages are limited. These laws were pushed through by big insurance companies, and our firm fought these caps in the legislature with both financial support and investing time in trying to get the lawmakers to understand what they were doing to the victims of malpractice. We know that it's reprehensible for the wrongdoer to limit his responsibility and not be held accountable if he injures someone as a result of a medical mistake.